welcome to another Maths Monday. I am in Devon and Exeter Institution today. It's why I'm talking very quietly because it's a library. It's a private library in the centre of Exeter, just by the cathedral. And you can see it's got these lovely old books. Um, just a lovely place, very atmospheric. Um, so I thought today, as I'm in a library, it would make sense to talk a bit about the language of maths. In particular, I'm going to be looking at um, the language of the, the names that we give to shapes, okay, and how that came about and how you can use a bit of knowledge of um, the origins of that to help you to remember the names. So, um, if you think about the names that we have for seven, eight, nine, and ten sided shapes, we've got a seven sided shape is a heptagon, but you can also call them septagons as well. Heptagon is more commonly used now, but septagon is still acceptable. An eight-sided is an octagon. People often find that one quite easy to remember because oct, uh, octopus has eight tentacles. I think that's that's why people find that one easy. So octagon is eight sides. A nine-sided shape is a nonagon, and a ten-sided shape is a decagon. Um, now, if you think about the the beginnings of those words, the sept, oct, non, and dec. They also appear in the calendar in the months of the year. We've got September, October, November, and December. They all start exactly the same. And that is no coincidence. But there is a strange sort of anomaly, which is that a seven-sided shape is a septagon, because that sept comes from a Latin word septum, which just means seven, right? Same for oct and non and so on, right? They come from Latin words. Um, but September isn't the seventh month of the year. September is the ninth month of the year. Um, October is the tenth month of the year. November is the eleventh month, and December is the twelve months. So we have this discrepancy, and it, it's all to do with it goes back to the Romans. So in the original Roman calendar, it dates back to something like 750 BC under Romulus. There were ten months of the year, and the first month of the year was March. Um, so if we Work forward from there. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So September was the seventh month of the year, and that's why it was originally called September. And then October was the eighth month of the year. November was the ninth month, and December was originally the tenth month of the year. So the names made sense then. But then under Julius Caesar, the Julian calendar was introduced, um, and it they chucked in an extra couple of months at the start of the year. So January and February were introduced, January being the first month of the year. So everything moved on to places. So September had been the seventh month of the year. Now it's moved on two places. It's suddenly become the ninth month and all the others shifted on two places as well, but they decided to keep the names anyway, um, just to confuse us hundreds of years later. Um, thousands of years later, even. Anyway, so there you go. I think having that a bit of understanding and a bit of background, for me anyway, really helped me to remember those names because I was able to think about the calendar and then understand you know, why they had those names. And I was able to remember it really, really well after that. Um, that is it, that is it. So names of shapes. Um, I will see you next week for another Maths Monday. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.